Well, how do there, chums? To Zai, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I'm on a lush planet inside of the NMSA hub, the planet behind me right now, and I've got all the exocrafts laid out. And I want to go over some ideas to help maybe improve usage of said exocrafts, because at the moment I don't really overly use them. Okay, so let's get into game. Let's have a quick look at each of the exocrafts. So the exomech is freaking brilliant. The exomech is, is fine the way it is. I mean, to be fair, the actual exocraft itself, though, could do with more technology slots up here. And I would like it if it had the ability to be able to scan. No scanner in technology actually installed at the moment. But here we go. I'll put in the old scanner. Chicka boom. Chicka pow. Now, you can't put in a survey monitor so you can't survey the system with this sort of exomech as far as i'm aware so the only sort of scan you can do is that scan you can't bring up the visual visor you can't do a survey sweep so you can't really find all the resources you're after now something that's quite good about the exomech though is during storms if you come across a storm crystal you can actually pick up resources using it I do like the fact that you can harvest materials inside of this if you've got the right sort of thing actually installed, which at the moment I've got the bare minimum installed inside of this. But yeah, the Exomech is OK, but I think it'd be nice if we had the ability to scan the environment and also do survey sweeps. And I also feel that the actual um, inventory up here, the technology area needs to be expanded upon. And yeah, it, it, it just needs a a little bit of a boost, a little bit of an uplift. I think the storage is fine for the amount of stuff it can carry. I mean, it's there as a war machine that's not really there to harvest materials. The Exocraft that is here to harvest materials at the moment isn't very creature proof. I mean, they all almost knocked it into this pond. I mean, it was nowhere near this pond before. Well, there's some creatures actually in the pond. What the fudge are you doing, mate? You can't swim. Anyway, this one, the actual Colossus, I feel could be awesome for gathering materials and also um, actually collecting and moving the materials around. It's got a load of storage at the moment, but what would be nice is if you could actually put in a large refiner inside of here so you can refine those products on the go. So as you're driving around, it's, it's refining stuff. It'd be nice if there was some sort of automation that you could actually set up inside of that as well. So if you are picking up ferrite dust, it automatically starts processing it into either magnetized ferrite or pure ferrite, depending on what you've chosen. It needs to be, they need to think of base builders for this one massively. It'd also be nice if it could link to your um, storage containers. So you can actually offset stuff to your storage containers quite easily. A teleporter system to put it straight over to your um, actual, yeah, you know. Anyway, let's let's put in all the actual scanners anyhow. Yeah, I haven't gone to town with any of my exocrafts at the moment, so need to get all this and anyhow, but I can do that in my own time. But I feel that they need to think of base building when it comes to the Colossus and what base builders need right from the off and how they can integrate the Colossus to base building and also storage capacity. I mean, you've got loads of storage capacity here, but it'd be nice if there were some automated processes for refining the technology and also screw it off either into this cargo area or into your storage vaults it'd be nice if there was a technology here to set up automation to automatically storage this either on your freighter or on your actual base as well if you've got one on the planet okay so next off is this this one here now this little trike is freaking awesome the pilgrim's quite cool for traversing the landscape super quick time i think it would be nice if I mean, this one is, you're not really sheltered from storms inside of this, which is fine as well. I think the Colossus should give you um, some sort of storm negation, just like the Exomech does. But this little chappy, I think, should be affected massively by the storms. So if you are flying into a, driving into a tornado, you do get lifted and thrown about the place, but you don't take damage. But I think that'd be quite fun to jump around in gravity storms and high weather storms, all that sort of shenanigans, almost like a little storm chasing storm rider type exocraft. I think that'd be pretty darn lovely. Yep. Next one, this Roma right here, I don't think has got much use at all. I think what would be nicer if they took this canopy off and put four seats on the dang thing. 
so you and your mates can actually get into it it'd be nice if there's like a rear mounted cannon one person can be on that two people sitting side by side in the front and then maybe somebody else sitting next to the gunner you know so at least there's somebody that can take command of um, resource gathering on the gun at the back while the other person focuses on driving and the other two there are just as passengers that'd be freaking awesome at least then if you're in a fire team of four people or if you're just you and a mate you can take this roamer out traverse the planet together resource gathering and taking in the sites i think this one should be more focused on multiplayer traversal of planets heck yes the roamer this little guy over here which is nice that it can actually scutter you out onto the actual ocean surfaces is lovely the only thing is is when you're actually in the ocean you can't summon it above the ocean just like we can with our ships because ships can now land on the sea i think if we could summon this from underneath the ocean to be above the ocean to take us back to the shore that could actually be quite a decent win for it especially if you've been out in the Nautilus and you're sort of like stuck out at sea yes you can call your ship but it'd be nice if you could also call in this little kitty now I do like this one but I also think that this one should be affected by the waves so if you take this out on the oceans right now it's not really overly affected all that much by the actual waves currently I mean, look, I go in and I'll show you what I mean. You just sort of skim across the surface at the same level and you don't bounce on the waves. It'd be more like, you know, like on the N64, you had that wave racer game. It'd be nicer if this was actually affected by the waves and you can get catapulted up into the air and boom, boom. So you're actually, you know, you're actually traversing the actual oceans a bit better. Um, so if I jump out of this right now, if I was to swim over here, I can't then call this exocraft like i was saying earlier above above the water level and it just gives a red line we need to be able to summon this above the water level just like we can with our ships so if i wanted to call my ship here oh i haven't put in the actual landing technology but i could call my ship there if i had the landing technology we need to be able to do that with this one i believe so the nomad that one yeah definitely anyway i need to get back to the freaking the, the shoreline now don't i i guess here we go let's head back over to the shoreline and let's take a look at the Nautilus. So the Nautilus is the only one that I haven't covered off. Now the Nautilus is the one that I use probably the least out of all the exocrafts. The only time I use it really at the moment is to use its scanners to find sunken freighters or abandoned buildings or relic sites underwater. That's all I use it for is just to scan. But I feel that the Nautilus could be quite useful if it had a tether to it. So say if you're actually out in the oceans inside the Nautilus and you've gone pretty deep into the sea. Sometimes kelp sacks aren't all that readily available. It'd be nice if when you actually get out of the Nautilus and start swimming around, maybe 800 years away from the actual Nautilus itself. Maybe there's some sort of tethering system that the Nautilus still plugs you into oxygen supply. So you can jump on out. Maybe there's a little pipe that connects your exosuit to the Nautilus. And as you're swimming around, you, your oxygen doesn't actually go down. So it saves you having to go get all the kelp sacks. That's what I'm thinking anyway, people. I think that could be quite a nice addition. I also feel that ocean planets, though, they should add in pressure. So the deeper you go, the more pressure builds up. And it's got another bar. And if you're in the Nautilus, the pressure doesn't affect you. But if you're out of the Nautilus, the pressure does. So, yeah, meaning that if you want to go deep, deep into the oceans, I mean, this one's not all that deep, but, you know, if it was like about one of five, six times deeper than this, maybe a thousand years deep, then that's when the pressure starts to kick in. But, yeah, I think the Nautilus could then be given a little bit more purpose. But at the moment, I don't think many people use their Nautilus apart from as I do to just do some scanning. And it's super slow as well. It's actually quicker to just use your jetpack and zoom through the water once you've fully upgraded your jetpack, water jets. It's actually quicker to traverse the oceans on foot, just using your jetpack, than it is to use the Nautilus, making it very redundant currently. So I think that they're the things that could help me, and probably others, use the Exomex more inside of game. So there we go, people. There's just a couple of small ideas there for Exomex improvements. I, I don't know whether they would come in. I would like to hope that they would, maybe. 
I mean, they're very simple. I would like to hope they're very simple to implement for Hello Games. If you've got any ideas, sound up in the comments. I'd also, I've also thought it'd be nice if there was some sort of you know, like mini helicoptery type one, or maybe a copter drone, a little bit like the Nomad, or you know, like the Nomad, um, but inversed up the other way. So it's got propellers on the top and it just hovers you above the landscape. Some sort of like little hover drone type one. That would be quite cool. It would be also nice if you could put in some sort of lines for it to follow so it can do some cinematic footage for you in camera mode. I don't know. There just seems to be a few sort of gaps in the old Exocraft market when it comes to their functionality, what they do, their rhyme or reason and usability. I just don't think they've got much function right now so yeah sign up in the comments with all your ideas and um i'll send this over to hello games and we'll see if anything happens when it comes to exocraft improvement inside of the future anyway salute to mondo another thing oh another thing that would be nice is if there was exocraft missions you know you can actually put in the exocraft technician and they give you some missions it'd be nice if there were almost daily missions that you can do inside of the exocrafts you know even if they're super simple ones, I'd be quite cool to run base missions, exocraft missions. Anyway, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.